The legacy of Queen Elizabeth, Queen of England, born the 21st of April 1926 to the 8th of September 2022. Elizabeth II, born Elizabeth Alexandra Mary, the 21st of April 1926 to the 8th of September 2022, was Queen of the United Kingdom and 14 other Commonwealth realms from the 6th of February 1952 until her death on the 8th of September 2022. Her reign of 70 years and 214 days was the longest of any British monarch in history and the second longest recorded of any monarch of a sovereign country in history. Elizabeth II was the head of Commonwealth. She reigns from 6 February 1952, to 8 September 2022. Her coronation was on the 2nd of June 1953, her predecessor George VI while her successor is Charles III. Born Princess Elizabeth of York, the 21st of April 1926. Mayfair, London, United Kingdom and died the 8th of September 2022, aged 96. Balmoral Castle, Aberdeenshire, United Kingdom spouse. Elizabeth was born in Mayfair, London, as the first child of the Duke and Duchess of York, later King George VI and Queen Elizabeth. Her father acceded to the throne in 1936 upon the abdication of his brother, King Edward VIII, making Elizabeth the heir presumptive. She was educated privately at home and began to undertake public duties during the Second World War, serving in the Auxiliary Territorial Service. In November 1947, she married Philip Mountbatten, a former Prince of Greece and Denmark, and their marriage lasted 73 years until his death in April 2021. They had four children together, Charles III, and Princess Royal, Prince Andrew, Duke of York, and Prince Edward, Earl of Wessex. Elizabeth was born at 240, GMT, on 21 April 1926, during the reign of her paternal grandfather, King George V. Her father, the Duke of York, later King George VI, was the second son of the King. Her mother, the Duchess of York, later Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother, was the youngest daughter of Scottish aristocrat Claude Bowes Leon, 14th Earl of Strathmore and Kinghorn, at whose London home, 17 Bruton Street, Mayfair, she was delivered by Caesarine section. She was baptized by the Anglican Archbishop of York, Cosmo Gordon Lang, in the private chapel of Buckingham Palace on 29 May, and named Elizabeth after her mother. Alexandra after her paternal great-grandmother, who had died six months earlier, and Mary after her paternal grandmother. Called, Lilibet by her close family, based on what she called herself at first, she was cherished by her grandfather, George V, whom she affectionately called, Grandpa England, and her regular visits during his serious illness in 1929 were credited in the popular press and by later biographers with raising his spirits and aiding his recovery. Elizabeth's only sibling, Princess Margaret, was born in 1930. The two princesses were educated at home under the supervision of their mother and their governess, Marion Crawford. Lessons concentrated on history, language, literature, and music. Crawford published a biography of Elizabeth and Margaret's childhood years entitled The Little Princesses in 1950, much to the dismay of the royal family. The book describes Elizabeth's love of horses and dogs, her orderliness, and her attitude of responsibility. Others echoed such observations. Winston Churchill described Elizabeth when she was two as a character. She has an air of authority and reflectiveness astonishing in an infant. Her cousin Margaret Rhodes described her as a jolly little girl, but fundamentally sensible and well-behaved. When her father died in February 1952, Elizabeth, then 25 years old, became Queen Regnant of seven independent Commonwealth countries, which includes, the United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, Pakistan, and Ceylon, known today as Sri Lanka, as well as head of the Commonwealth.
Elizabeth reigned as a constitutional monarch through major political changes such as the Troubles in Northern Ireland, devolution in the United Kingdom, the decolonization of Africa, and the United Kingdom's accession to the European communities and withdrawal from the European Union. The number of her realms varied over time as territories have gained independence and some realms have become republics. Her many historic